Hi there, uh, my name's uh, Roy Smith. Uh, I'm from MRS Consultancy and we're um, a micro business based in um, a little village called Well in uh, the north of England in North Yorkshire. Um, not London. Um, we've um, been, been working maybe uh, 15 years or so now and uh, we've been really I think focusing our efforts on working with disadvantaged communities and organisations and they, they can be as diverse as uh, people with um, learning difficulties, it can be um, uh, small businesses, it can be ethnic communities, it can be um, uh, uh, mature workers, a whole range of different um, uh, uh, groups. But at the moment, I think we're we're really focusing on uh, people from um, the countryside, from rural communities, and also with people with um, some form of uh, physical, uh, sensory, or learning disability. So that's that's where we're at at the moment. We've we've got into um, community reporting, uh, working with. Um, uh, People's Voice Media, the Institute of Community Reporters as it is now I guess, and uh, in a project called Isabel and um, that involved partners from uh, the UK, ourselves and um, uh, Teresa and Gary, um, also as well partners from Germany, Italy, Spain, Hungary, Turkey um, and that we all took part in um, a community reporting project which uh, finished last year very successfully and a tremendous learning curve for us all so it was it was it was great good fun um, uh, good fun and challenging at times uh, as many of you who've worked in European projects will know um, we've actually taken that on and we're now working in four different uh, European projects where it employs community reporting to in one form or another um, that's uh, projects called uh, Suscom, SustainVet Transpace and Bazaar. Um, Transpace and Bazaar are interesting because the Transpace one is about uh, working with uh, uh, young people with um, problems of suffering from violence either in the family or from their peers and Bazaar is um, uh, uh, trying to uh, encourage language learning through um, coming together in the marketplace. So it's going to be very interesting to see um, what role community reporting can play in that. At a local level, um, I've also just started to work in um, North Yorkshire with uh, people with uh, physical and sensory impairment problems and disabilities. And I've done one co uh, set of courses in uh, North Allerton, North Yorkshire, and I'm about to do some more in Whitby and Scarborough. Um, challenging uh, for me, uh, certainly challenging for them as well, but certainly I think um, very much, I think, online with what we're trying to do which is giving communities who have um, got no voice or lost their voice the chance to say something for themselves so very much I, I guess on message and in particular I think in rural areas uh, we've lost a lot of community outlets sort of local newspapers and radio stations because of their business models are consolidating into ever uh, bigger and less local so we're feeling there's a lot of localness being lost and that's important for us. In terms of uh, any advice uh, I, I can offer, um, the, um, I'm looking for advice rather than offering it. But um, I've got three really key things I would say. It's, it's first of all, find a champion. Find someone who's going to uh, really push community reporting in whatever group you have. and going to take it on board and uh, champion it. Also, I think as well, do things bit by bit. Um, it can be intimidating, and I think you need to be able to do a, a nibble strategy, you know, just uh, uh, bring them slowly into your community reporting web. Uh, also, get some early wins. It's the same with everything. Uh, nothing succeeds like success. What I'm looking for, um, I'd love some advice on working with people with physical and sensory impairment problems and, and disabilities. Um, I, it's a real huge learning curve for me. And if there's anything in terms of any kits or uh, advice on approach and whatever that um, people have, uh, have learned by the dint of experience and, uh, and greater knowledge than me, I'd love to hear from you.
So um, really uh, very keen to be involved in the project, very keen to uh, hear from other people. Uh, so after that uh, stumbling and frightening experience of being in front of the camera, I'm going to say bye bye. <laughs>